Hi there guys, the Lord Fudger here, and I'm here today to help you understand one of the new concepts in the Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. The concept is of affinity. So affinity is shown in the top left of your screen here. So you can have one of three affinities, your harmony, your purity, and your supremacy. Now each of these dictate basically how you can win the game. So there are new victory types in the new Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. So if I just click on, um, where is it now? Quests and victories and victories. You can see we have contact, promised land, domination, emancipation, and transcendence. And you can read and find out each one of those on the Civilpedia in your game. Basically, what you're looking for with each of these three is going either down transcendence, emancipation, or contact. So, transcendence can be achieved through the harmony, purity can achieve contact the promised land and finally supremacy can grant emancipation so you might be wondering how can you gain points in harmony purity and supremacy there are two ways of doing this one through random quests that are accessed throughout the game and two by researching new technology so if I click on the tech web you can see here are the technologies available to me so you can see under each technology obviously the buildings you have and also the perks that provide it, but you can also see an affinity symbol. So you can see one for supremacy, supremacy, there's one for harmony, and finally one for purity. So by actually researching technologies, it grants you a level up in each one of these different affinities. Now you might be wondering why, other than victory purposes, would you be wanting to get a new affinity? Now affinities also provide bonuses, so if I just hover over one, it'll show you. So level one, alien aggression returns level neutral twice as quickly, level 3, 6, 8, 11, 13, all the way up to level 18, which is the highest level of affinity you can get, and that works across all three of them. Now when you get to level 13, well, the higher levels will go from 8 upwards, you can start creating extremely powerful units. Um, I can't show you this at the moment, unfortunately, but what I will do, I'll insert a clip of having one in just a moment. Hi there, I'm back with the uh, the next clip that I was just talking about a moment ago. So you can see I've just leveled up in my affinity progress, having finished autonomous systems. Now I'm level 2 in supremacy, so new upgrades are available for your units. So let's ignore that one there. And then you can see in the bottom right here it'll say upgrade available. You click that and you can see here are all the different units that you can have once you level your affinity level um, in whichever one you've chosen or rather yeah, decided to go down um, up sufficiently. So you can see you get shredders, wardens, executors at high level, strikers, gardens, overseers. But initially everyone starts with just rangers and gunners and depending on which affinity level you are, you can choose the different units. So you can see which level is required for each unit. Now you can select a perk, so we'll just go for that one there. But you can see each different affinity has its own perks and bonuses and this applies to each of your different units so if we go into combat rover you can see there are different types of units here as well each with their different bonuses now you might be wondering why you'd want to go down each different affinity so harmony affinity makes you at one with the planet makes aliens less aggressive makes miasma help you and it gives you uh, big bonuses in defense then you might be wondering, well, why would I want to go down purity? So you can see purity is a lot more about strength and attacking. Purity is as if you're going back to the original human race. You can see you're just advancing that way. So harmony is working with the aliens. Purity is trying to revert to how humanity was when you left Earth. And supremacy is just trying to advance yourself in every way possible. And you can see all the different ones have their different types of units. So you've got Poseidon's Dreadnoughts, Vindicators, these extremely powerful units, and even the attack jets change into different types of vehicle. And that shows you how your affinity level affects um, the units that you can use and the way that your civilization will play out in total. So you might be wondering, what will draw me to one over another other than those facts? Well, you can also see that you require distinct resources for each um, affinity. So you've got Firaxite for supremacy, Floatstone for purity, and Xenomass for harmony. As you can see, my civilization has been placed where there is a huge amount of Firaxite, and therefore it'll be logical for my civilization to go down supremacy so that I can make the most of the resources given to me and create some of the bigger late game units and late game buildings 
that are unlocked by going up the affinity. And notice I said buildings because there are also buildings, powerful buildings, which are unlocked through being a high level in a particular affinity. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys, and if it was, please do subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and any questions, leave down in the comments below. And I'll see you all again, hopefully I'd coming out very shortly. Bye-bye.